we are doing another kind of unboxing or review we're actually doing a review of some balenciaga shoes um if you guys are new to my channel my channel focuses on a little bit of luxury i like to do unboxings fitness content travel and lifestyle so if you like that sort of thing you're in the right place i also like to post videos three times a week and that's usually mondays Wednesdays and either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, but we have been having a busy year this year and I've just been finishing up a lot of things and even though I've been recording, haven't been having time to actually edit. So you guys, please just turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a video, okay? Because I do have a lot of stuff planned and a lot of stuff that I filmed and it just needs to come out to you guys, okay? And if you guys also want to catch me in between time, go ahead and follow me over there at Instagram at TonyJanae underscore. I post a lot of my fitness content on there. So if you guys are interested in my fitness journey, um, check it out over there. And then I also am going to start putting more sales and things like that on there as well, okay? So let's get on to the reason why you clicked on this video. And it's the Lorca slides, okay? So the reason why... I did this video and I'm probably saying the name of the slides wrong, but because every time I've seen these slides on sale, I have been looking for a video, right? And so if you're like me, anytime I want a pair of shoes, I go on YouTube, like if I haven't tried them on or anything like that, and I see if there's a review on it. I haven't found a review on these. So I was like, let me do you a service me a service because these are still like actually available for full price on the Balenciaga website but I've got these from Saks and then I think Beard Off Gorman's I got two different pairs two different sizes two different colors um and I want to kind of compare the two and show that with you guys um but I got those on sale however I have still seen these on sale for like 170 180 different places okay and I'll try to link whatever I see down below. So let's get into the shoes. So here we go. These are the ones I got from Beard Off Gardman. These are the ones I got from them. These I'm probably going to end up sending these back um, just because I tried on the other ones and I know how they fit. So I might send these ones back. But these ones I actually got in my typical shoe size, which is a size 40 for European shoes. I typically wear a size 10, even though in US uh, shoes I would wear nine, nine and a half. It just really depends. I'm not a 10 though. Like US 10s are not are not comparable to European 10s. Okay. So let me just open it up and we'll see how it looks because I haven't looked at this stuff in a minute. So stuff has been sitting, you guys. Okay, so when we open it up, we have dust bags. This came with one, Beard Off only came with one dust bag. The one that I got from um, Sex came with two, okay? This one only came with one. So that's the dust bags and they're a little bit different. They're green. Green's my favorite color. If you guys have ever heard me talk about shoes and that sort of thing, I always talk about um, the style of sandal I like if I'm going to buy a sandal. It's the two-strap sandal. I love a sandal that's like this. They make a Fendi uh, sandal that's similar to this. My um, Louis Vuitton Bombilla sandals, similar to this type of style. I love this type for summertime. It's just an easy sandal to slide in and go. Not too much of a worry. I can wear jeans and a t-shirt. With these being a jelly, um, I can just wear these to like the pool and stuff like that and it not be an issue, not be a problem. And so that's what I really like about these. These were, I guess I paid $149 for them. I thought I paid $170 something or $180, but apparently they were $149. This is my actual size shoe sliding it on my feet i have definitely have room in this shoe like more at the back than i do at the other one but they both were the, worth the same for me and so um let me show you the other one i just slid that one on my feet just so i can show you but it came with these two bags again i don't know why i only had one dust bag but it did and so these ones said i paid one 149 for them so i guess that's what i paid i have seen these as low as 90 dollars. i just didn't catch them when they were 90 dollars. but it says balenciaga on the sole part it says that you can see it on the back i guess that's where it really says it so you see it at the bottom of the shoes it says balenciaga um these are my first pair of balenciaga shoes ever on the buckle it also has it like i guess 
engraved inside of it. It says Balenciaga. If you, and if you guys have been following my nail chronicles, you see they're not long anymore. I just have a gel because of the fact that they've been breaking. So I'm just like, whatever. Let's just keep it simple. And so, yeah, these are those ones. So then I'm going to show you my other ones. I'm not going to do a pretty unboxing for those just because of the fact that it's nothing really special like that. It did come with two dust bags, though, compared to the other ones. And then let me just show you uh, the white one. So I did have two dust bags. And the dust bags... Oh, they, they have the same dust bag. Um, I already tried to film this video, you guys, so that's why it's already out. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. But here are these ones. These ones I got from um, Saks. They still do sell this color on Balenciaga's website. I think they retail for $4.25. However, these were $1.25. And then if you see them and we turn them around the back, you can see the sides. The size of the shoe. I guess I should have got like the same shoe so you could really tell. Okay, yeah, let's do that. that. That makes more sense. So if we put these two together, do you see there's not really that big of a difference from the 39 to the 40? This is the 39, this is the 40. They fit almost about the same. I think it still feels like a little bit wider with the 40, but as far as length, they are about the same. You probably only get like a little bit of an inch. You should see. Uh, the two shoes just compared and how they look on my feet so that you can tell a difference. Please don't mind my toes. I am due. So if you see what a little bit chipped, I'm due for my toes to be done. Again, I just have been lazy because like I told you guys before, this nail saga has been something. So let's just talk a little bit about the shoe, the fit, how it feels. Is it comfortable or not? I would say that like just my foot being in the insole is very comfortable. Uh, just putting my feet into it. It's comfortable. However, I am not sure how it would be like me wearing it long term. People do say it's kind of heavy, but it's pretty typical to me of like shoes like this, how it feels. Um, and then also it kind of, um, if you like the part that's right here at the top of the toe, that kind of hurts a little bit if you're like lifting up your foot. But I mean, when will you really be doing that? Um, I will say, let me try the other one on my foot so I can kind of show you. And hopefully I'll be able to do a side-by-side -side comparison with them on. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like I have a little bit more of a bedding room in one than the other. As far as like the sizing of them, you could do either one to be fine. So if you were between an eight and a nine, then you could probably do either one, nine and a 10, seven and eight with the sizing. Like if you've seen them at a really good deal, and they only had like one size and it was like close to your size, you probably could get it and be just fine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would say that they're comfortable. If you find them at a good price, grab them. They are still at good prices on places. Um, I just wouldn't see me paying $450 for these shoes. Me, I wouldn't pay that. Um, I think 100 something is perfect for slides. People pay that for slides or pay 80 or $70 for Nike slides. So like just paying in a little bit more for a little designer pair that I could wear in the water and all that kind of stuff. I like to travel. I think these are perfect like pool side shoes um, and a lot more comfortable, a lot more bedding than like, I have Gucci um, rubber shoes as well. And it's more bedding than the Gucci shoes that I have. Um, and I paid a lot more for the Gucci shoes and I actually got two for the price of that one Gucci shoe, but I, I still like them, they're pink, they're cute. If you want to be real ladylike in the summertime, those are cute too. But yeah, so you guys, that is really all I have for this video. I want to come in and show you really quickly the shoes. Hopefully you see me try them on my feet and you see the difference between the two sizes. I would say if you don't see your size, you probably can go a size up or a size down and still be okay with the shoe because of just how they're cut. Because um, I definitely size down in one and the 10 feels fine. And if I went up a size... I probably would have been okay. Maybe not. Maybe not go up, but you could probably go down a size for sure. Um, and if you're buying it from, from any place that you're a little bit skeptical from, please make sure you check just like the return policy of things that you can return them, that sort of thing. Usually, um, these places, you know, Beard Off Gordman, Saks, we know we can return theirs. But if you've seen them, like I've seen them at places that I haven't heard of and I like to find sell things. And we get a little bit skeptical when we see designer things on sale, but know that they do go on sale. Just make sure you check the return policy. If you can return it, chances are um, it probably is an authentic piece. 
So, yeah, or if it's not, you get it and it's not, you can return it. So, you know what I'm saying? But that is all I have for you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. We are trying to grow, and I really do appreciate you guys who have already committed to this channel and seeing what we're doing and how I'm going to grow and how we're going to grow. And if you have any video ideas for things you want to see, let me know in the comments box below. We have tons of things coming, okay, you guys? Tons of things, tons of things, and I'm getting ready to move. So hopefully you guys have turned on that notification bell so that you can check out the content that comes along with all of that stuff, okay? So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, to comment, subscribe. Go ahead and follow me over there on Instagram, you guys. I really, really, really do appreciate you guys just watching the video, whether you liked comment subscribe or not i just appreciate you clicking on my face okay so you guys i want to thank you for watching this video because you could have been anywhere else but you decided to be here and i appreciate that hope you guys have a good night a good morning a good evening whatever you're choosing to watch this video and you guys before you go watch another one of my videos and i'll see you guys on the next one bye